All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to convert your Figma file into Framer and vice versa. But before that, it's good to know that there is a plugin for Figma to actually convert to Framer, but we don't have anything similar for Framer. So stick to the end so you will learn what's the trick. All right, guys, for example, we have this template here and we're going to just convert it to Framer. Actually, for that, you can select the whole frame of the template and then go to plugin and search for Figma to HTML with Framer. And once you open it, it's going to copy your layers and then it shows up this model, which actually you have to copy your, your frames or, or layers to clipboard and then you can go to Framer and paste it here. So we'll wait until the pasting process ends, okay? All right, once it's done, actually you have to resize your, your desktop layer to the same size that you had on Figma. I'm just going to the same size actually you have to you have to set the height to fit content all right and then you get this beautiful and perfect template on framer so by the way actually if you have some color overlays or some kind of um, absolute layers you have to um, copy each section and do the same process actually you have to select the section the specific section and then hit that Figma to Framer plugin and then copy to clipboard and do the same process on Framer. So yeah, and by the way, make sure that everything is auto layout. So that way you get the perfect result. All right, now let's see how we can do the same process, but now inside Framer. Okay, we know that there is no third party tools or, or some kind of plugins to just convert the Framer file into um, Figma, but there's an interesting trick that you can use actually. At the first, you have to publish your website and then copy the URL and then go to Figma and open up this HTML to design plugin. And once you open it, you have to paste the exact that you copied before and, and hit that import button. And once you see this model, make sure actually you check this use auto layout checkbox and then rest of them are optional. Um, if you want to import the variables or, or local styles, you can, you can do that actually. But for now, I'll just go with use auto layout. All right, it says two free imports left, reset in 29 days actually. This plugin gives you 10 free credit each month. So I have two left. So, okay, basically I'm just going to close this. And as you see, the Framer website just pasted into my Figma file. And basically it just, the, the main layer is larger than the actual layer that I had before. It's 1,600, but here there is um, 1,920. So you have to just center these items or decrease the size of the mainframe. So that's it. But there is an inter interesting part actually about this plugin. And it's actually, you can copy any website design into your Figma file by just inserting the URL, basically um, apple.com for example, let me, yeah, apple.com for example, and if you hit that import button, it's going to import the entire design of the apple.com website. All right, let's close the plugin, and as you see here, we have the apple.com website design and it's very very interesting that you can do this kind of copy and paste process to just have a whole template on your figma file that's it guys hope you enjoyed this video see you next time peace